Yesterday my friend called me in the middle of the night. He was so frustrated because he built this dashboard using pivot tables, pivot charts and slicers. The problem is if you select a city, only the top part is updating, the bottom part does not. So how do I link one slicer to multiple pivot tables and charts? I'm gonna show him this in three steps. So let's rewind the clock and go back to our data sheet and start from scratch. I'm not gonna focus too much on the cosmetics in this lesson, otherwise it will be too long. But if you are interested in the dashboard, there are three options for you. Option 1, there is a link in the description, you can download the file and check it out. Option 2, there are a few links about videos I made on pivot tables and slicers, feel free to look at them. And option 3, just let me know in the comment and I'm happy to show you how to build this step by step. Let's start with the first step now and we're gonna add pivot tables. So first select just the columns and do insert pivot table. Let's put it in a new worksheet, press OK. There we go. I just want to remove those grid lines. Always do that, it will make your work look neater. So we remove the grid lines, we go to product, put it in the rows, quantity in the values. This is our first pivot table. I'm just selecting it and I'm just gonna drag it like this with a left click. We have it in the middle. Now, in terms of format, you can just go to design after selecting your pivot table. You can click in it anywhere you want and you go here, you just select a format. This is not bad, right? I want to show you two tricks with pivot tables. I think those will be useful and you don't know them. The first one is that if I select something, for example, I select banana, it is resizing automatically. And I don't want to have this in a dashboard because then the dashboard will start expanding, shrinking. It's not nice. What do we do in this case? Right click, pivot table options and you can uncheck auto fit column widths on update so you press ok now if you select something else for example this one also it will not automatically resize that's fine let's just put back all our items the other thing i want to show you is changing the name of this sum of quantity this is not nice if you go back to your data set you have something called quantity so if I come here and I remove some of and I press enter, I get an explosion. Why? Because if you have it as a pivot table field, you cannot have it in the title. So this is the evilness of Excel, but we're going to have the last love because you can just add a space here, press enter. This is a different field now. It's okay. Perfect. Let's add another pivot table. So I'm just going to copy this one, go down, paste it here. And we're going to put instead of product category. And here we're going to have the sales. So for sales, you can use the same technique we had with quantity. This is step number one. Let's go to step number two, which is inserting pivot charts. So click inside the first pivot and go to insert. You can select a chart. For example, we can put this one and I can have it here. I'm not going to do cosmetics for charts. As I said, you have those three options to learn how to do it. Now, having said that, let's add another chart here. So click inside, same procedure. We just go here and add another chart. Perfect. It's time for step number three, which is to add the slicers. The slicers can be added in two ways. Option one, you just click on your pivot table you go here, this is region, right click, and you say add as slicer. This is my first slicer, perfect. The second option is just to click on the chart, pivot chart analyze, insert slicer, and you can select city. Now one thing I want to show you also, because this is important, you might not know it on your own, how do we get rid of blank here in the chart and blank in the slicer? So for the chart, let me show you another trick. We click here, we just unselect blank, boom, it's gone. You can do the same thing for the second one, so this blank can go away. For this one, it's a bit more tricky. Just right click on it, slicer settings, and here you can do hide items with no data. Since the blank, they don't have any data. If you press OK, it's gone. 
and you can do the same operation with this one. So now comes the major trick, how do we connect one slicer to multiple pivot tables? If you see the city, for example, if I click on Los Angeles, this is updating, but this is not updating. So how do we do this? If you like what I'm gonna do, please give a like to this video and subscribe to the channel. I know I am more lazy than you are, I don't do it usually, but for me you can make an exception. The answer is right click, report connections and you have to select the right pivot tables. So here we are in sheet 11, the pivot table is this one, I'm gonna press ok. If you select New York, San Diego, now you can see that everything is updating. So San Diego is hitting those two pivot tables, the charts are based on the table and there you go. So you can do the same thing here, it will work. Let me show you on the dashboard. Right click on the dashboard, you do report connections. You can just click on this one. Now if you select West, for example, both of them will update. For this one, we can just click up and this is just another way, slicer, report connections. There we go, press OK. And now both of them will make the dashboard update.